present perfect and present perfect continuous tense form using with for and since. You uh, already know present perfect and present perfect continuous tense form. To make the present perfect tense form, we use have, has, plus verb in the participle to. But in, to make the present perfect continuous tense form, we use have, has, plus been, plus verb in the participle one. For example, I have known my best friend for 20 years or I have been living in this country for 20 years. But what is the difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous tense form while we are using for and since? As we know, since and for are used to denote the duration or the starting point of the time of something, right? When you say, I have known my best friend for six years, it means that you started to see your friend, to meet your friend six years ago, and during these six years you've been friends and you are still friends, right? So that's why we use for, or when you say, I've known my best friend since um, 2013 or since I graduated from university. Here, if you pay attention, after since I used exact time or the sentence in the past simple tense form since I graduated from the university or since 2013. So, that, which was the exact time. When we use for, it talks about the period, the length of the time. For example, I've known my best friend for six years here. For six years, talk about the period, the length. Right now, let's say present perfect continuous tense form. I have been living in this country since 2013 or I have been living in this country uh, for six years again. It also talks about the length and the period, but why did we use for the same thing, for the length and the starting point, why did I use present perfect tense form in the first sentence, present perfect continuous tense form in the second sentence? Let me explain it now because it is so easy. When we say present perfect, I mean, when I say I have known my best friend, which is my main verb. What is my main verb? No, right? Known, I have known. To know is my main verb. One question for you. To know, the verb to know is action or non-action verb? What is that? It is non-action. Do you remember, can we use non-action verbs in the continuous tense form? Can we? Of course not, right? So, as it's not used in the continuous tense form, I cannot use non-action verbs in continuous in present perfect continuous tense form as well. That's why I prefer to use, I actually I have to use present perfect tense form. But when you say I have lived in this country for 20 years or I have uh, been living in this country uh, for, I don't know, since 2009, it means that to live our verb is action verb and you can use it in continuous tense form or in the simple tense form. Um, for the verbs to live and to work have the same meaning. You can use them whether in present perfect or present perfect continuous tense form, they will have exactly the same meaning. But uh, imagine that you are going to a dentist, you've got an appointment at uh, 2 p.m., right? You go there and you are waiting for the doctor, but doctor hasn't come yet. She's not there, yes? And you are holding your tooth and you are waiting in pain, in pain you're waiting, you keep waiting. But unfortunately, the assistant says that the doctor hasn't come yet, right? You're still waiting and you get mad, you get angry and you say that, oh my God, where is she? I'm dying in pain. I have been waiting for the doctor for two hours. I have been waiting for the doctor for two hours. It means that when did you start waiting for the doctor? Two hours ago. Did you wait for the doctor for these two hours? Yes. Are you still waiting? Yes. That's why we use present perfect continuous tense form because your action started, it went on during this period until now and it is still going on. That's why you use present perfect continuous tense form with for and since.